कहते हैं अपलोड करने का कोई सही वक्त नहीं होता जब कर लो बस तभी से तुम्हें अगले वीडियो की डेडलाइन मिल जाती सॉरी 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 आई नो आई सेट अ बेंच मार्क ऑफ कंसिस्टेंसी इन माई वीडियोज बट दिस टाइम आई थॉट अब इतना खर्चा हो ही गया है तो आई टेक सम टाइम एंड मेक इट वर्थ इट सो ये वी गो officially entered heaven look at that what is this place dirang yeah starting off from dirang today beautiful resort I don't know if you call it a resort or a hotel, but the view was like this. It must be some 7:30ish in the morning. It's already bright as it feels like 10:11. Oh yeah, this was the hotel, and this is the riding line. Pajani life. So yeah, we are all set to leave. Bye, Jamra. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Matter of getting used to. These gloves, by the way, I'm using for the first time. In fact, I did not even know these kind of gloves existed. Where? There is electronic heating, so instead of having heated grips, spending lakhs and lakhs on heated grips, you can get these for uh, maybe nine thousand rupees and uh, have the same amount of pleasure. But right now, Jojo's me, we layered up like crazy. I've got a base layer, then I've got a thermal, then above it I've got a winter liner, then the jacket. And I was also thinking I'll put on the raincoat, anticipating the winter. But now that we've got out, it's fucking boiling hot. and i'm completely drenched inside of my sweat for the next 100 kilometers at least it is going to be hot and sunny and after that it's going to be super duper cold ekdam inhone alto is literally ruling this place huh and i have seen videos of alto killing it in the snow where xuvs and the scorpios and the fortuners of the world are getting stuck in the snow this guy just Plows ahead like it's no, like it's no one's business. See, that is why they sell so much in number. Look at this, and people do some crazy modifications. Ah, there are some, some really silly looking and some really good looking. Like, like you, you, you would want to own something like that, like that good. And now I feel good, and I'm feeling good. Now it's nice and cool. The good thing about uh, sweating is that once you're on the go. The precipitation helps you cool down quickly. Maybe that's the purpose of sweating, to keep you cool. Maybe what it is the purpose of sweating. Whoa, whoa! That was a very close call. Oh, scared the out of me as well. Oh, that's okay. That tends to happen. I'm sure even she. But then, that's the kind of price we pay for the adventure. What do you say? Bro, speed is a knife that cuts life. <laughs> bro, that's hard. Bro, that that hit hard, bro. Wow. Scrape the, scrape the pushbacks, I guess. Life is secured at such a limited speed. Wow! Couldn't read basic English. Your best, your best teacher is your last mistake. In my case, my best teacher is someone else's also last mistake. So I'm one step ahead of you, but I'm not followed even a single bit. <laughs> no man, I'm taking my precautions. You 
beautiful corner dude bro fast drive could be your last drive wow that head hard bro that head hard there's a lot of working that you need to do with these gloves man such thick gloves i'm using 20% more force guys enough power to have fun in such twisties of course on the highways is where you miss the power but on such roads it's very entertaining you're good oh, you saw my tripling yeah, yeah i've recorded i've got it on camera <laughs> i'll share you with you the footage <laughs> But yeah, good save, huh? Good save, though. Kaam milega itna content. What beautiful weather, man. Check your nerves on my curves. Bhai, pada kya? Bro, think about safety first, then drive. Acha, I'm going to stop for safety. I'll think about safety. I've made a whole video on it, so I guess I'm good. I'll just drive now. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm talking in a sarcastic tone, but I respect what they have to say. It's border road organization, so you gotta respect anything that they say, bro. Whoa, that was a close call. Okay, this is the second close call of the day. So Anurag, that's a sign. You better f***ing stay in your limits. The auto guy was winging it, ah, by the way. Got such scenic places like on my way, but I'm not bothering to stop and take pictures because. I know that the view up top, and I, I'm, I'm realizing it as I'm going up. The view up top is going to be mesmerizing, and with every curve that I'm taking, right? See, the view is getting better and better. So, like that, I'll have to stop at every curve and take pictures. So, might as well not take any. That is why this very recent and new technology called video has come into picture. क्या डाला है भाई रॉकेल पे चला रहा है क्या? भाई सब Full stage smoke कर दिया इसने तो। Wow that <coughs> you could use the fuel that you're carrying, buddy. Maybe he's using the kerosene that he's carrying. Wow that. <coughs> I mean I'm I'm over exaggerating. <laughs> it's not that it's not that bad. But हाँ smoke तो आ रहा है गंदा वाला और वो बदबू भी बहुत गंदी वाली आ रही है. You attach this to the oh nice. You attach ही कर दिया क्या सीधा helmet पे? Fit हो जाता है. मस्त है। फिर ये, अब ये। It's good that you can also close the visor. ये ऑनलाइन लिया या ऑफलाइन लिया? मेरे को लिंक भेज देना यार। You know who I am, right? अनुराग। Because we always confuse आज। आ। चल आजा। चलो भाई। Because I can use this as a sun visor on for always. Instead of having sunglasses. That is good. Hi guys, this is a second camera. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be very slow with this one. Yay! <laughs> See, you can do this on a on a Royal Enfield. I'm sorry, Bajaj, but you can't do that on that. <laughs> wow. I ruined my bike because good low and talk, right? But that's that's a super cute kid, man. Northeast kids are very cute. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to the rest of the world, but northeast kids are very cute. Hike more, worry less. All right. Bro, fast drive could be your last drive. Bro, better late than never. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone. क्या बात है? ये अच्छा है यार. What hypocrisy, dude. Bro says that always be in your limits and don't cross them. And then on the other hand says that life starts when you are not in your comfort zone. तो भाई करे तो करे क्या बोले तो बोले क्या? By the way, we have gotten ourselves insulated even further by adding another layer of a raincoat. So that will act as a wind cheater. 
and underneath is our jacket which is our armors and then underneath for me personally is a thermal layer and then underneath that is the base layer I'm f***ing stuffed as a f***ing sandwich Useless India stands up to I'm so sorry Sorry, sorry, sorry Unless India stands up for I don't know I, <laughs> I did not read what's ahead Desh Trohi Look at that Holy mother of God Snow capped mountains finally Now it's only going to be snow huh by the way See yeah this is what this is It's good that I took off the ND filter because See it's going to be mostly dark and hot Dark and cold and haunted Look at that beauty Bro, mind the doctor drive, handles on the wheel, eyes on the road. Eyes on the road, how will I read your quotes, bro? The coffee I had has been working wonders. I'm unnecessarily just blurting out bullshit out of my mouth. Oh, that's the yak. I don't know if it's a yak or some other breed um, of the yak, but damn, that I'm seeing that for the first time. Look at that. Hello there. Wow. At that dude. it's like uh, the, the the cloth that you put on your bike before it's revealed right it's that kind of a look on these mountains like as as we climb up the cloth is going to come off and then it'll reveal diamonds up top oh they're painting a flag okay i shouldn't be actually uh, recording this so i'll see you later guys bye bye Is he yelling? I love Baisaki. Yes, sir. You have a lot of friends. Whoa! Where? Instagram? On my Instagram. <laughs> well, thank them on my behalf. Jalwa hai hamara. What is this place called? Baisaki. Oh, okay. Only 49 families live here. 49 families? Yeah. Wow. It might be 52 now. I don't know what last. Yeah, but then too, that's quite <laughs> wild. 20, what 29? Oh, 49. 49 families live here now. That's it. That's it. Alright, we are now completely braced up for Sela Pass. Sela Pass is going to be one of the highest passes that we are going to pass through. That's why it's called a pass. Have a shot every time I say pass. So, naturally, with higher altitudes, we are not going to be uh, staying there for long for our mental sanity <laughs> and physical well being. And now is when. We are gonna get the powder. My powder, I mean snow. Wow, my! I just realized my feet, my legs are not that insulated with cold. Thankfully, we've got good quality gloves. So we'll be sorted on that front. Anywho, what I was saying was, yeah. So this pass is going to be one of the top, uh, highest ones. So we'll be quickly kicking. <laughs> we'll be quickly clicking a few photos and heading out. These guys deserve a salute. I mean, a lot more than a salute. So, oh, dude, look at that. My face is freezing cold right now because there's only a balaclava inside my helmet. Everything else is pretty sorted, but even then, I'm feeling cold, huh? But then I should maybe switch on the heating feature on these gloves. Okay, there you go. This is a luxury, man. Seriously. Okay, it started to rain. Wow, all of a sudden. What snow? What? It is snow, dude. Holy shit! <laughs> I'm I'm seeing snowfall for the first time in life. Last time when I rode in Ladakh, it was me seeing snow for the first time. And now I'm experiencing snowfall, dude! Wow! Man, it has full-fledgedly started snowing. <laughs> I can't believe this, dude. See, I'll just collect some and show you. But it's not that much. Hey, that's the first sight of the snow. Look at those snow caps. Wow! Mala bhai bohat This is beautiful 
beautiful dude Everywhere I look is just mesmerizingly beautiful dude How do you know? Look at that So f***ing beautiful dude Oh look at that Officially entered heaven Look at that Woo Beautiful dude It's f***ing magical man By the minute, the scenic beauty is getting even better. Wow, dude! It's just gonna be white now. Really cool, right? Can't wait till I. I am not gonna even try touching the snow. I'll just use my uh, boots and I'll probably my gloves. But I don't even want to take a chance with the gloves. Right? Just my feet. Just my feet. We are easily in. Sub zero degree temperatures, minus two, probably. It's getting denser and denser. Oh sh! <laughs> this is it. Ooh. Oh yeah! I am in snow. Wow! And yet again. I feel like a child. Immediately after deciding not to take snow in my hands, I completely forget about it and dig my hands right in. Thankfully, with gloves this time. But not too long until I take my gloves off too. Well, you can't blame me. The child in me hasn't experienced this much snow ever in my life. Just like the childhood me never boarded flights, and even now I'm awestruck looking at clouds outside the plane window. The childhood me never played with remote control cars and I still dream of getting one for myself and playing with it all day long. Things you don't get to do in your childhood never let you grow old. Never. Hey, we left uh, Sela Pass now heading ahead. We've uh, spent quite a lot of time. We were recommended to spend at uh, to the max 10 minutes. We've easily spent 30, 35, 40 minutes like we always do, right? but i don't want to over overestimate so i've just decided to leave and i'll have have to be look at that oh, looks like a bear but i have to be very careful now because now there's going to be ice so okay, there's absolutely no time get back abu The, the, the thing is, you just keep your steering as straight as possible. A little twitch here and there, you lose your line. I'm acting as if I've been a veteran rider in the snow. This is actually my first time riding on ice. I'm just theoretically explaining it, explaining it to you. Man, these gloves are working wonders, huh? Oh, why do I have my f***ing visor on? Yeah, I forgot. Wow, dude. that's a frozen lake. I don't know if it's a lake. Oh, it is a lake. It's a frozen lake, dude. I'm seeing a frozen lake for the first time in life. So many first timers. What? What's our answer? I'm gonna go very slow. Take it easy. I don't want to freeze myself because my neck is completely frozen right now. My bladder is full. I've got to pee because it's cold. I'm just gonna ride for the for another eight kilometers so that I reach at that. Um, a uh, war memorial uh, a memorial built in in honor of a uh, of an indian soldier that was martyred he stood against uh, apparently 300 soldiers of the other country now i am genuinely not really uh, what do you say well versed with the history of it but this is built in an honor of uh, that great man Chalo, I'll see you guys after a while. Ah oh, man, I need to conserve battery. Chal, 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 chal. Only 30 seconds after I decided to switch my camera off, this is what I get to see. How? How do you? How do you conserve battery? <laughs> Tell me. A few minutes before. And by the way, my hydration pack. Um, many have been asked. Many, many have asked me, what is this tube that runs around my neck? That's not a f***ing cycle lock. The tube lock. <laughs> 
that's my hydration pack from which i drink water but this tube is frozen now it is turned into ice i can't bend it it's kadak <laughs> look at that what a view what a view Tree. Only after coming closer to these mountains have I realized that these are not stony mountains. These are actually green mountains with trees on them. But from far away, they look like they're just black and white rock and snow. But these are actually proper uh, tree-studded mountains. It's just that the tree, the trees are uh, snow clad. Doesn't it look beautiful though? time to take it easy now <laughs> we had a we had a fun ab thoda sa aukat mein see already this the road is wet a lot wet knowing your limits and knowing the nature's tolerance is very important there's eyes on this road so i'm just gonna crawl now with the tarmac is hot and dry and it's good and you can push however you wish not in this condition i guess that's the memorial the both riders are quite experienced in riding in this kind of a terrain so they know that i don't so i'm not going to be pretending as if i'm them you are why spend some time at this jashwan gad cafeteria a great man and a war martyr who fought against the chinese in the the story says that he was the only one alive fight and fighting against them and managed to kill about 300 chinese soldiers he was alone he, he was only one to stay there for so long and then finally was uh, held by the chinese army he was then taken into custody uh, terribly treated and uh, that's how it ended for him but he was a great man and that is why the cribit created this war memorial for him to honor his sacrifice for the country so <clears throat> they say that they still do preparations for him every day they make his bed iron his clothes polish his shoes and they still believe that he is his presence is around isn't that interesting so that was a short history lesson that we had <laughs> when i when i learned about this story how such great men sacrificed everything for the nation and we sit in our ac rooms and i mean i'm not trying to give you or give myself the guilt of uh, enjoying this luxury but the fact that we get to enjoy it the fact that we are safe we are comfortable at our homes is because of these great men that have sacrificed their lives and it's and it's very easy to assume that us being uh, um, so far from the air in in a city like mumbai it is not like that people have taken over countries when uh, when the establishment and uh, and the an army fails them the people of that country suffer there are very recent examples of the same and i'm not going to go into the politics of it but what the army men what the armed forces of a country do for it no one else does it so the fact that we are getting to enjoy not just the luxury of uh, comfort at our home but the fact that we are getting to ride and explore such beautiful places without having any risk of our lives is a huge deal i i feel immense gratitude to you know to get to get to get to uh, experience this we are nothing but love and respect towards the armed forces i mean i, I know i know this sounds um quite senti but it is really necessary and important to address this and to address the amount of um unconditional sacrifice and love 
uh, towards the country uh, these people have and not to mention the bravery the that is that these people have bye <laughs> cutie we've now come to another uh, location which is a waterfall i don't know what the name of it is but i'll flash it on the screen they say it's going to be one beautiful looking waterfall so let's see how that goes and we are not not far from our destination as well today's was a very short ride what the f bhai log chai peena hai kya i hope this wasn't the waterfall they were talking about <laughs> 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 funny guy i'm a funny guy funny man chatte den one two three now my hands feel nice and warm Oh my god Holy mother of hell Wow dude this is incredible man incredible Yeah that you man Chale. All right. We spent a little too much time at this place, the waterfall. And uh, while it looks like uh, it is 7:30, 8ish as per Mumbai standards, it is actually 5:30. And this is how it looks when it's 5:30. Crazy, isn't it? Now it's just going to be uh, a dark ride uh, to our hotel, unless something interesting happens. nothing of this will make it in the video so i may as well save my battery <laughs> sorry guys budget ki kami hai guys so bye i guess for now i've written at and too many places in the country and experienced different kinds of terrain weather roads and hidden gems but it was always me voluntarily taking myself to a place and experiencing the solitude away from the urban chaos and i was nothing short of mesmerized but this right here was me unwinding and anticipating the end of a tiring day of friday but to my surprise gradually but sooner than i realized i transcended into this trance of unknown and just pure silence i wasn't taking myself anywhere anymore it was a weird meditative state where i felt like things were happening to me can't articulate the feeling in words without sounding mystical or philosophical it just was a constant state of flow a sense of submission to some force you can't pinpoint a location a place a time or a reason for something like this to happen to you it just happens and it leaves you speechless This is why we ride. Bonus. 
it's a good looking horse dude what shampoo do you use buddy this shows that it is never about the product sometimes genetics genetics genetic is the best cosmetic yeah genetic nahi cosmetic yeah genetic hereditary disease <laughs> Whoa, that was close. कोई सेंस है इस बात की? ये जेनेटिक हेरिडिटरी हेरिडिटरी डिजीज़ ये जेनेटिक हेरिडिटरी डिजीज़ ये जेनेटिक हेरिडिटरी डिजीज़ अरे बात तो कर भाई। So please सब सब कर सारा कबर सब बरा कराए सारा सारा कब whatever please सब सारा I want to reach one million likes. So please सारा सब बरा सारा पकरा सारा पकरा सारा पकरा सारा पकड़ा है सारा पकड़ा है